Ready? Yeah, man. All right. Thanks for tuning in to CarolinaSportsman.com. I'm Brian Cope, the editor of CarolinaSportsman.com. Here with my good friend Todd Vick in Merle's Inlet with Freshwater Fishing Charters. And usually when people think Merle's Inlet, they think flounder. And Todd catches plenty of those, but uh, that's not what we're doing today. Um, Todd, tell us a little bit about what we're doing. Well, we're out here on the beautiful Waccamaw River. Uh, I think it's the hidden gem of the coast here uh, in Merle's Inlet. And we're actually setting bush hooks. Uh, we're going after some big catfish tonight here All on right. the river. All right, that sounds fun. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about um, the, the rules, the regulations about setting them? What time of day you can set them and such? Well, you have to set it an hour before uh, sunset. Uh, and you have to have it up an hour after sunrise. Uh, with that as well, when you set your, when you're doing your sets, you also have to have your name and your license number on your sets so they're able to identify who's who uh, when it comes to the licensing. Other than that, it's your choice of hooks and weights and, and, and twine or whatever you'd like to use. We like to use a size 13 hook uh, and a four ounce weight. Um, and they're circle hooks, by the way. So every time we catch one of these big catfish, I mean, it's it's right here. Um, if it's if it's a big breeding catfish, we want to make sure that they don't swallow the hook and kill them. Uh, we like to just pick those up, take a good picture, and drop them right back into the river. So right. we use those circle hooks for that. And what kind of catfish can you expect to catch here on the walking mall? Everything. If it swims and it's a catfish and it has whiskers, it's in this river. Uh, tonight we're using live eel. We're using cut eel, so we have a chance to catch a blues, uh, and we're using uh, live bluegills. So we're hoping we're going to get some big flatheads in the morning as well. All right, sounds fun. And exactly what do you mean when you say bush hooking? What, what are bush lining? What? Well, there's trot lining, there's jugging, which is a jug with a light, and you just let it go and it drifts. Um, we have trot lines, which is a line with a bunch of hooks across it. What we're doing is we're actually tying our line to a tree limb. Right. Uh, and a good friend of mine, Dave, over at Marlin Quay, he likes to call them uh, limb shakers. Right. So we try to put it on a we try to put it on a limb that when we come around the corner, there's no doubt that there's a big fish on it because that limb is just bouncing as hard as it can go. And this is kind of a two-day process catching fish this way. So tell us a little bit about that. Okay. It is like tonight, uh, starting here this evening. It's beautiful. We come out, we set the hooks. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll meet again um, and we'll run the exact same lines. Uh, Dave will be marking every spot that we have hit um, and then we'll hit them again in the morning, pull all of our hooks up uh, and make sure that we have all of our line, everything out of the water uh, and then redo it again if we'd like to. All right, so tune in with us. It'll be a few minutes for y'all, but it'll be about 12 hours for us and uh, we'll see what we caught. Well, what I've done is I've taken a, a bluegill and uh, uh, number 13 size hook and I run it right through the bridge of his nose. I don't want him to die Hopefully this right here will catch us the flathead that we're actually looking for Simple 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 You tie it like that so you can take it off easily, right? Yep All right, David go ahead and You good man? Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, we got a good fish here, man. We got a real good fish. There you go. There you go. Nice catch. Oh, it's back there, I think, in that tree. Back there. Yeah. Giant. You ready? Brian? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Ready? Go. So guys, as you can see, we caught a monster flathead this morning here on the river, but this is the future of catfishing. So a beautiful old fish like this deserves to be let go as part of the breeding program. You just want to keep the five or six pounders. So it was fun, it was awesome, but now it's time for this one to go home. If I can pick it up. My goodness. 
All right, baby. All right, baby. And away we go. River 